Now, your first warm weather forecast from meteorologist Savannah Brito. Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Wednesday. Temperatures overnight early this morning, very, very warm. We actually didn't drop below the lower 70s. 73 was the official overnight low early this morning that we reached at the Chicago Rockford International Airport. That did break our previous record warm low of 66 degrees. You would have had to gone all the way back to 1912 to find that. So temperature is nonetheless very warm out there. They were warm this morning and this afternoon, but due to those showers that moved in a little earlier than originally anticipated, that did drop our temperatures. And we are seeing a rise in them by a couple degrees on what they were a couple hours ago. That's just due to some sunshine or some cloud cover at least decreasing in areas across the state line. But we only made it into the lower 80s in most places. A couple places actually didn't even hit 80 degrees. And then DeKalb earlier today was our warmest temperature, checking into the upper 80s out there. So we had a quite the temperature gradient across the state line this afternoon. We're at 81 right now in Rockford. There is a little bit of a heat index out there checking into what feels like 84 degrees outside. 78 in Freeport, 79 in Sterling, 79 in Rochelle, and then 79 is also the current temperature down in DeKalb. But check these dew points out in Florida and Okeechobee. Close to 80 degrees, 71 in Tampa, 75 in Jacksonville. Our dew points very similar to that. Earlier today we were in the lower to mid 70s, still in that range in most places besides DeKalb checking into the upper 60s. So nonetheless, a very soupy air mass is very, very uh, moist out there. 70 degrees is the current dew point in Rockford, 75 in Freeport, and then 74 in Sterling. Luckily, dew points are going to trend downward as early as Thursday evening. So tomorrow we are going to see those dew points drop a little bit. That's going to be the case Friday morning through Friday morning. And then those dew points are going to rise again. So muggy conditions not completely leaving the area at least for that long besides Thursday night into early Friday morning and afternoon. We did have a lot of showers that passed through the last several hours. Those did uh, start earlier this morning, travel through the afternoon. We're kind of seeing a break in that now, though. There's one shower that's producing some heavy rain kind of just uh, northeast of the Davenport area, southwest of our area in Rockford and Rochelle. But most of those storms did produce some decent lightning, definitely pockets of heavy rain out there. We didn't pick up a whole lot, though. Rockford actually only got three hundredths of an inch, one-tenth in Freeport two tenths close to that in Monroe and then close to one tenth also in Galena. But winds have also been a decent factor this afternoon. We're checking into 20 miles per hour. These are actually sustained winds, not gusts. So gusts are actually higher than these numbers on screen. 14 miles per hour currently in Rochelle, 12 in Freeport and 15 in Galena. But these are actually current wind gusts so up to about 35 miles per hour or very close to that, at least in Rockford, 30 miles per hour in Monroe and then 21 in Freeport. Windy conditions, those are unfortunately going to stick with with us as well over the next couple of days. As we get into Friday and the first half of our weekend, they do come down somewhat before rising again as we're heading into Sunday and then early portions of next week as well. But some clearing is taking place. You can kind of see blue returning to our skies. That trend will continue over the next couple of hours, but isolated showers still keeping that in the forecast through this evening. And then a few isolated showers come into play tonight. Then we're going to start clearing out and drying up nicely through tomorrow. So it is going to be partly sunny to mostly sunny out there. We'll see blue returning to the skies. That trend's going to continue a couple more days before our next chance of rain, and that's going to hold off until the weekend, probably the second half of the weekend. Most of Saturday, much of Saturday looking good as we're heading into Saturday night, overnight into Sunday. That's our next better chance at some measurable rain. But temperature is also holding up tonight, not quite as much as last night, but we will still be in the upper 60s, mostly cloudy, but nonetheless, it is going to be an Another warm night, slightly muggy out there as well. 85 then, that's your high tomorrow. Clouds decrease. It is looking like a nice day. Again, dew points do drop, so it'll feel a lot more comfortable out there than what we've had starting the work week off and even up to midweek today. Then temperatures will rise again. 87 then is your high Friday. We're up to the lower 90s on Saturday and Sunday. But Mimi, temperature is kind of going up and down as far as what we see in the upper 80s, 90s, and then back down to the mid to lower 80s even next week.